Where are we going? Uh, to Walmart. No, we're going to Aldi. <laughs> First, at least. We yeah, might go to we'll go to Walmart, but we're gonna go to Aldi first, right? Yeah. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica, and I am a wife and a mom of two. Um, right now, that is Sayla, my daughter. She is almost three, and then we have a son. His name is Titus, and he just turned 15 months old. Um, we just love our little kiddos, and they are a blessing for sure and um, they keep us full of energy and always busy. Um, today in the video is a grocery haul. Um, we're going to do some, uh, I'll be cooking dinner tonight, so I'll share the recipe with you, some dinner idea, and then some light cleaning around my house. Um, but right now we're just doing all the shopping, and so I hope you enjoy today's video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Just finished an Aldi, now we're gonna run to Walmart and just get the things that Aldi doesn't have. We spent $133 for a week of groceries, which is actually really pretty decent for a family of four. Um, and then I just have some like cleaning supplies that I gotta get at Walmart as well. Um, so yes. Okay, my secret plan is coming together. I sent Erica into Walmart by herself, um, so I'm gonna go surprise her with her favorite Starbucks drink. Her favorite Starbucks drink is an iced latte with two pumps of sugar-free vanilla. She's gotta do two pumps because one, it makes the coffee very strong. She also likes it with almond milk, so Titus is chilling back there, just sleeping up a storm. Fell asleep when we least wanted him to, which means he's not getting a nap today. So, yay for that. Love you, babe. So, this is what I have gotten from Walmart just a few things. We got oatmeal, um, PB powder, which I like to use for our bake baking snacks for the week um, Clorox wipes which I like to have in the bathroom because kids are so toddlers I should say are super messy in the bathroom so I just like something nice and quick and easy to wipe up and then there's Dawn this power wash um, my mother-in-law like raves over it all the time so I had to try it and then just refills for the Clorox one for the toilets and then just some dish soap, Salem wanted band-aids, onions, and then of course you saw that Cody got me some coffee. But that is all that we got at Walmart. And now I'm just moving on to washing the vegetables and the fruit and just letting them soak in some rice vinegar. I usually, for my sink, because it's so big, it just depends on what size you're using, but I usually put like a fourth of a cup of vinegar in there. And then if you're just doing like a small bowl, <laughs> you probably only need like a fourth of a teaspoon. Um, but uh, Sayla saw this little craft at Aldi and so I thought it'd be fun for us to do today. Um, they're called aqua beads and instead, it kind of reminds me of the um, ones that you iron on and they infuse together by ironing them. Um, but you just use water and the beads were incredibly hard to like hold and put them in the little spots. But we had fun doing it anyways. I would definitely say it is probably more for a little bit older than Sayla. Um, we still did enjoy doing the project together, um, but she had a hard time like holding it and putting it on there, but it turned out cute. 
And I did real, I didn't do it right because you're supposed to use a lot of water in there. And so it took more than 60 minutes for it to actually set because I had to spray it again. And now I'm moving on to washing or cutting up all my produce and um, putting it in the fridge for later. And then um, also chopping up the, um, the vegetables for dinner tonight. At the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies then you took my hand said let's leave now And then after I am done with my um, prepping the vegetables for dinner tonight, we're going to move into the laundry room and start a load of laundry. And my kids love to help me with it. It's super sweet. But they, um, we have a front loader washer and dryer, and so the buttons are super easy for them to push. And so I think that is why they like to help. And um, but it's fun just to have them involved and. Um, having them help me out around doing um, certain chores around the house of course they're little so they don't do a lot but um, it is just fun to have them help me out um, but on note that note about our washer and dryer we have a front loader and before we bought it I heard that of course they have a bad reputation for getting moldy and I did not want to get that um, because of that like certain <laughs> you know, reason of mold and the mildew smell, but I have actually never had an issue. And one of the um, reasons why is because I actually don't use liquid detergent. Um, liquid detergent has so much like more, it's so thick and so it, it's, it causes more buildup in your washer. And so that's what causes most of like the mold and the residue, like the soap residue just sitting there on your, um, like on that, like I think it's like that rubber part in your washer. And so um, I have always used powder detergent. I've never used liquid and I've never had an issue and it looks brand new still and it works super great. And so that's what I use. And then for fabric softener, I just use vinegar to help kill any smell if there ever did um, get a mildew smell. But we love our front loaders and highly recommend them if you use powder detergent. And now I'm just moving into our bedroom and my daughter likes to help me make my bed as well but it's kind of more hard when she does help me but it's okay we still have we still try to have fun while she helps me um, but then after this I actually took the kids outside to play because they were just needing to burn off some energy and then we came in and showered because it was super muddy out we've gotten so much rain in Wichita and so um, it, our backyard was just really muddy so we took showers and then uh, we will get on to making dinner.
And for this dinner, it is a pepper and sausage skillet. And we love peppers, <laughs> sausage and peppers. It's such a good meal. Um, but you will have two cups of rice and with four cups of chicken broth. Then you will boil that until the rice is fully cooked. So probably around 10 minutes, um, just depending on your stove. Each stove is different um, in the heat. So that cooks for about 10 minutes and then you will cut up your sausage and peppers, which I already did that. So I will just put it in the pan. And my kids do not like rice, and so that is why I was taking out some extra sausage. But now, after it browns, you're gonna add some tomato sauce and the seasoning, which is cumin, garlic, and salt. And um, I will put the recipe down in the comments below if you want to try making this at home. And if you do try making this at home, tag me in Instagram, and I would love to see um, your creation of sausage and peppers. And now I am moving on to making lunch for my husband um, for the next day. And I love doing this at night because it makes my morning go so much like smoother, um, especially with the kids. My kids are such morning kiddos. <laughs> they're always up but like between 5.30 and 6, seriously. They're up so early. Um, so it just makes my day so much, or my morning so much better if I do this at night. And then the last thing that I am doing is making peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> Here is our favorite kind of raspberry. It's a raspberry jam is from Aldi. Um, but my kids love this. It's so easy. And the reason I'm prepping it is I like to um, make like uncrustables and I stick them in the freezer. So when we have a busy day and we are running around, 
it's just nice and easy to pull one of these out of the freezer and they can have them sometimes even as a snack because it's actually pretty healthy you have protein from peanut butter and um so they love peanut butter and jelly and what kid doesn't love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches right so i just used up the rest of my loaf of bread so it made four sandwiches um, but actually it worked out super well um, this specific week because titus he actually got a fever this day and he had it for four and a half days so um he act he just didn't have an appetite and so this was helpful he would eat the sandwiches <laughs> and they were just already made and we pulled them out of the freezer and it was good to go but these uncrustable little um cutter is so fun it gives like a cute little design on the outside it looks just like you bought it from the store basically um so i will link the cutter in the description below as well And then you just um, wrap it in um, parchment paper and put it in a plastic or in a Ziploc baggie and store it in the freezer for up to three months. It's super easy and quick and easy to go snack or lunch. But after this, we're going to clean up our mess from making the sandwiches. Um, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more tips and ideas for meal prepping or dinner ideas and cleaning ideas as well. And we'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.